All right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So in today's video, the goal is to burn some bits of paper. These are 100 milligram strips of brown paper bag in an atmosphere of pure oxygen, but at reduced pressure. I wanna see what that does. Now this is actually a video I've done before. Pure oxygen at ordinary atmospheric pressures is extremely dangerous because it greatly accelerates combustion. But I wanted to see how dangerous pure oxygen would be at a reduced pressure, such as what you'd find on some spacecraft. But uh, back when I did it, it was about seven years ago, I took that video down because I was unsure of the results. I didn't have nearly as sophisticated of equipment. <laughs> this is still pretty simple, but it's uh, way better than what I had. But if you're interested, I'll leave a link down in the description. So first of all, the chamber is currently under vacuum. It's the 25 and a half inches of mercury worth of vacuum. If you're asking why this value is not, say, 29 inches, it's because I'm not at sea level. I'm up in the mountains, so the atmospheric pressure out here is lower. So the differential is, of course, gonna be lower. And according to my barometer here, that value is pretty much spot on. So anyway, moving down into the chamber itself, you can see some silver leads going to a piece of resistance wire that I took out of an electrical heater. And if I hook up to the electricity here, which is running off of a battery and through a variable resistor, you should be able to see that little coil of wire begin to glow. There we go. That'll be the ignition coil. And the reason I'm using silver is silver does not burn in pure oxygen. Uh, copper or even stainless steel will burn. The idea is I only want the sample to burn and not the whole apparatus. And as for my source of oxygen, I'm just going to use the oxyacetylene torch again, which I can hook up right here. And I can insert pure oxygen into the chamber by opening this valve and then turning on the oxygen flow. So anyway, let's add air to the chamber for our first control. Open this up. Add a piece of paper, which I have folded a little bit just so it's not laying flat on the ceramic. So air can actually get underneath of it and it'll burn properly to my dish. Set the coil of wire for ignition on the paper. There we go. Okay, here we are. First control. This is just normal atmospheric composition at uh, ambient pressure. So we're going to run the ignition coil. Should get hot. And ignite it. And we have a little fire going. Very nice. That's just how the paper burns normally. And it's gone. There's a little bit of carbon left. But the flame is now out. Uh, let's uh, try this again. But with a pure oxygen atmosphere. Of course, to get pure oxygen, I will first have to remove the air. There we are, full vacuum. Now, I'm going to turn on the oxygen slowly so we don't blow the paper away. There we go. And we'll repressurize it with pure oxygen. There it is. I'm going to leave a slight vacuum just so that the chamber stays closed. So now this is 25 inches worth of oxygen partial pressure. Okay, here we go. Control 2, pure oxygen, atmospheric pressure. Okay. 
And there goes my resistance wire. Yep. I'll have to get another piece of that. But the silver held up, it didn't burn. I'd say that was a success. So now we will try our main experiment, which is the same thing, but we're going to leave about a fifth of an atmosphere, and that is a fifth of a standard atmosphere, worth of oxygen. And the same amount of oxygen you have in the air at sea level, but without the nitrogen. So it will be about the atmosphere that you have inside of a space suit. So let's open this up, air out the oxygen. As you can see, I have a new resistance wire in place. The chamber has been re-vacuumed. And now I'm going to add oxygen to bring the pressure to 19 and a half. Okay, there we are. Bring the camera back down. Let's ignite it. Let the big truck go by. So that is still faster than it burned in the uh, open air, and it burned more completely. You can see it melted my silver, but the resistance wire is still in place. So this means that in an atmosphere of pure oxygen, even if you reduce the pressure, the fire is more vigorous. I think we're going to do this again with the oxygen partial pressure reduced further. Uh, let's try it at like half of what we had here, so three inches of mercury. Once again, I have reset. Chamber's vacuumed out. So now, we're going to take it from 25 and a half to 22 and a half. Worth of oxygen. Oh, I guess it helps I open the valve. Right about there. Okay. Time for ignition. Coil's hot. It's on fire. Look how, like, spread out the flame is. That is really interesting. It does make sense, though. The same mass of gas will expand to a larger volume in the lower pressure. I guess this is just like how the gases coming out of a rocket nozzle expand more at higher altitudes. The reaction definitely was more vigorous than it was in the air, even though there was actually less oxygen per unit volume. So it definitely looks like not having the unreactive gas getting in the way, it really accelerates the combustion. This goes against what I had found in the first video, which I kind of expected, and that's why I ended up taking that video down. I think what happened in that video was the pressure of oxygen was much lower than I thought it was. Now for the sake of completeness, I'm going to attempt to ignite the paper when the chamber is under full vacuum. There's the wire glowing, touching the paper. Vacuum pump oil is dripping into the chamber, apparently. But the paper is not burning, because it's under vacuum. Now I'm going to let in just a little bit of oxygen. Right there, so about half an inch. Let's try igniting it again. Well, some embers are going. Okay, so just uh, shaking the chamber around a little bit so that the coil makes contact. I'm gonna turn it on once again. Just, nope. just like that. I'm going to add oxygen slowly. Okay, 
one inch. Two inches. <laughs> okay, so the reaction really started taking off at about the four inch mark. So if all goes well, you probably recognize this from the intro. I wanted to see how steel wool would react with the pure oxygen at low pressure. I also have a second camera on the gauge so we can see what the pressure is doing. When the reaction started, the pressure actually increased. This is because the heat of the reaction caused the gas to expand. When the chamber fully cooled back down, the pressure was only slightly lower than when we started. The iron consumes the oxygen, converting it into a solid form, so the pressure should decrease. But there's just so few iron atoms compared to the number of oxygen atoms in the chamber that the difference isn't that great. So let's try one more experiment. Let's burn this candle in an atmosphere of pure oxygen, but with a partial pressure of three inches of mercury. First, let's make sure I can light the candle. So here we are, atmospheric pressure, candle lights just fine. Let's turn on the vacuum pump. Okay, we're vacuuming down. See what the candle does. Negative 15 inches. Negative 20, right there. Oh, I'm impressed it lasts as long as it did. <laughs> So the atmospheric pressure was 20% of ambient, so about 5 inches total pressure in there and the candle is still able to stay lit. There we are, it's as much as a vacuum as I can generate. Let's attempt to light the candle. Yeah, no ignition, as we'd expect. go. One, two, three inches worth of oxygen partial pressure. Now let's try lighting the candle. Okay. Oh. Oh dear. Okay, that is really cool. Ah. <laughs> oh man. I think I blinded the camera when the wire ignited. The wire did ignite though. The candle just sat there and heated it up, I guess. And now it's just burning a little piece of wick. So I wanted to try the candle again, but this time at a pressure of just one inch of mercury. So this is a third of what we did in the last experiment. This is about the partial pressure of oxygen at the point that the candle was extinguished when we were vacuuming it down in air. So let's turn the light off so we can see a little bit better. There's my wire glowing. I don't think it's actually touching the... there we go. Perfect. Lovely. So that's what a candle looks like at about 25 millimeters of mercury, a 30th of sea level pressure.
In a normal atmosphere, this was low enough oxygen that the candle was extinguished. But with pure oxygen, the candle burned just fine. In fact, it burned rather quickly. Oh, it just went out. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. Low pressure smoke. <laughs> All right. So I think I've definitely disproven my old conclusion that low pressure oxygen is safe. Clearly it is not. It is more safe than high pressure pure oxygen, but definitely the nitrogen helps slow down the reaction. <laughs> so anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.